Hi guys, I've tested the Sony US 14500 VR2 cell which is a lithium ion battery of 14500 size. 14500 is the same AA size and it means that the cell is 50mm long and 14mm in diameter. Bear in mind that you can't replace a AA size nickel metal hydride or alkaline battery with a lithium ion 14500 battery because they have different voltage. Alkaline battery's nominal voltage is 1.5 volts. Nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium are 1.2 volt cells. And lithium ion ones are 3.6 or 3.7 volt batteries. Sony US 14500 VR2 is rated at 680 mAh, but before passing to the capacity test, let's take a look at my testing equipment. All the tests were done using a special battery tester the ZK ETEC EBC A20, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After the charging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The cell which I've tested has the following marking SE US 14500 VR2 2B G 056 4014 YB21J 680 mAh. On the other side, there is another marking YB21J 680 mAh. It has the following specifications according to its datasheet Typical capacity 715 mAh. Minimum capacity. 680 mAh, nominal voltage 3.6 volts, standard charge current 680 mA, charge end voltage 4.20 volts, maximum discharge current 2 amps, discharge cutoff voltage 3 volts, AC impedance more than 50 and less than 100 mA, weight 19.3 grams. My cell is 49.1 mm long and 14 mm in diameter and the measured weight is 19.15 grams. At 0.2C or 0.14 amps, Sony US 14500 VR2 gave out 774 mAh or 2866 mWh. At 1 amp discharge, the result was 659 mAh or 2354 mWh. At 2 amp discharge, it gave out 615 mAh or 2113 mWh. Pay attention to the discharge cutoff voltage. Sony declares 3 volts, but it's a relatively high voltage for a lithium ion cell. I think it would be safe to discharge the US 14500 VR2 down to 2.75 or even 2.5 volts. The capacity test showed that even at 3 volt discharge cutoff voltage, US 14500 VR2 gives much more than 680 mAh, almost 780 mAh at 0.2C discharge rate. If you discharge it down to 2.5 volts, its capacity would be even higher. It's a great cell and I definitely recommend it. I hope this video was useful. Like it if you think so. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell next to the subscribe button to not miss the future videos. Bye bye.